Okay, so let us continue. The greatest common factors. So, ano naman po itong greatest common factors na tinatawag? Okay? So, GCF or the greatest common factor, the highest number that divides exactly into two or more numbers. It is simply the largest of the common factors. Okay, so ayan. So, it's the same lang po sa pagkuha ng common factors. So, after mo makuha yung common factors, you are going to identify the largest number or largest factor na meron ang dalawang numbers. Okay? So, to find the greatest common factor or the GCF, <coughs> we have three methods, which is listing, yung ginagawa natin sa common factor, Prime factorization, ito yung prime factors na gumagamit tayo ng factor 3 and then continuous division. So, malalaman nyo kung paano ba gawin itong tatlong methods na ito. So, we are going to apply these three methods in finding the GCF. Okay, so let us find the greatest common factors of 12 and 16. Okay? So, gagamitin na naman natin ang 12 and 16. So, let us use first the solution A or the listing, the first method. Paano ba gamitin ang listing? Okay? So, this is the first method, listing. Okay. So, it's like Uh, pares lang ito nung common factors. Okay? So, step 1, find all the factors of 12. So, parehas niyan. Alam natin na yan yung mga factors ng 12. Right? And then, ayan. So, ayan yung factors ng 12. Pag sinabing listing, you are going to list. Kaya nga nilista natin. Okay? Nang pasunod-sunod. Kaya tinawag siyang listing. Then, next, find all the factors of 16. Ayan. So, find the factors of 16. 2 times 8. And then, 4 times 4. So, again, this is the list or the factors of 16. Okay? Ayan pa rin. So, ayan. Ayan. So, then three, step three, identify the greatest common factors. So, ito na siya. Ayan yung mga factors ng 12 and 16. So, we all know the common factors of 12 and 16 are 1, 2, and 4. So, yan na yung mga common factors na meron ang bawat isa. So, ano yung greatest common factors? Okay, so the greatest common factors is 4. Yung pinakamataas na factors na meron ang dalawang number. Okay, so the greatest common factors of GCF or GCF of 12 and 14, 16 is 4. Okay, so that is how we use The method one or the listing. Okay. Next, let us use the prime factorization or the second method. Okay. Prime factorization. Eto yung ginamit natin kanina sa pagkuha ng prime factors. We are going to use a factor three. Okay. So the same lang. We are going to use twelve and sixteen again. Okay, gamit ang prime uh, factor 3 na ito. Okay, finding the greatest common factor of 12 and 16. Okay, <clears throat> yan. So, 12. Let us factor 12. Okay, so we have 2 times 6, right? Then, 2 is already a prime number. Then, 6 is composite number pa. So, meron pa siyang factor. So, ang ipa-factor natin ay si 6. What is the factor of 6? Okay. So, we have 2 times 3. So, since na 2 is a prime number na, 3 is also a prime number na, so, wala na tayong ipa-factor. So, ayan yung factor 3 ng 12. Okay. 
Okay? The next. Tignan natin ang 16. Okay? So, again, you're going to think two numbers that you're going to multiply, then the answer is 16. So, let us use 2 times 8. Okay? 2 times 8. Ang iba dyan, pwede naman gumamit ng 4 times 4. Okay. So, since we have 2 times 8, 2 is already a prime number. 8 is a common, uh, is a composite number. So, pwede pa natin siyang i-factor. What is the factor of 8? We have 2 times 4. Okay? So, 2 times 4 is the factor of 8. Then, 2 is already a prime number. 4, composite pa siya. So, i-factor pa natin siya, yung 4. Hindi tayo titigil hanggat hindi maging prime number yung nasa dulo. So, the factor of 4 is, okay, 2 times 2. Ayan. So, 16, meron tayong 3 pairs. Dito na tayo mag stop sa 2 times 2 kasi wala ng factor ang 2 at 2. Then, they are already a prime number. So, nagawa na natin ng uh, factor 3 yung 12. Factor 3 yung 16. So, ano kaya ang susunod? Okay. So, hahanapin nyo. So, dito. Itong 2. Si 16 ay meron 2. Tama. Meron din si 12. Okay? Hahanapan nyo siya ng partner yung 2 ng 16 at yung 2 ng 12. Then, okay, may 2 dito sa 16. May 2 pa kaya si 12? Meron pa. So, meaning, ayan yung kinuha natin yung partner ng bawat isa. Kukuha kayo ng prime numbers na meron si 12 at meron si 16. Okay? So, 6, wala nang 6 dito sa 16, wala na ring 3. So, meron lang tayo 2, 2, 2, at 2. Okay? The next, ayan. So, kukunin natin sa 12. Kunin natin tong 2 times 2. We have 2 times 2 is 4. Then, si 16, 2 times 2 is 4. So, the common prime factors ng 12 and 16 are 2. Then, you're going to multiply it. So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, the greatest common factor or the GCF of 12 and 16 using this prime factorization is 4. Okay? So, the same lang kanina doon sa listing, the GCF is 4. So, this is the way how we find the GCF using the prime factorization. I-factor muna yung 12 at 16 ng ganitong style and then hanapan ng partner yung bawat prime numbers. Okay? So, pag walang partner, wag na pong isusulat. Then, after that, ilagay natin dito. Ayan. So, etong 2 at etong 2 are the common factors of prime. Then, tsaka mo siya imumultiply. So, the answer is 4. Okay? So, that is prime factorization. Next. Ayan. Pangatlong methods. The continuous division. Okay? So, paano naman natin gagamitin ang continuous division in finding the GCF? So, yun pa rin. 12 and 16 pa rin ang ating gagamitin. Okay? So, we have... Ayan. So, pag continuous division class, gagawa tayo ng ganito. Okay? Ganitong itsura. Ilalagay natin si 12 dito at si 16 dito. Wala po ditong bilog ha. Ginawan ko lang siya ng circle. Kasi mamaya meron siyang panggagamitan. Okay. So, gaga susulat nyo dito yung 12 at dito yung 16. Kasi kukuhain natin yung GCF nila. Ngayon, pag continuous division ang gagamitin natin, isulat nyo muna sa taas yung 5 first prime numbers. Okay? etong 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Mga prime numbers yan. First 5 prime numbers. So, asaan natin to magagamit? Gagamitin natin to as a divisor nitong dividends natin na 12 and 16. Okay? Kaya nga, continuous division, magdi-divide tayo. Ngayon, 
Let us start. So, meron tayong 12 at meron tayong 16. Tignan natin yung first prime numbers, which is 2. Okay? So, yung 12, pwede ba nating i-divide sa 2? Yes. Yung 16, pwede ba natin i-divide sa 2? Yes. So, let us use 2 as a divisor. Okay. So, ginamit natin yung 2 as a divisor. So, let us proceed. Ngayon, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, saan natin ilalagay ang 6 na sagot? Of course, sa baba ng 12. Okay, dito. Next, after mo manibide itong dalawa, si 16 naman. 16 divided by 8 is... Ay, sorry. 16 divided by 2 is... 8. Okay? So, dito rin natin ilalagay yung sagot under ng 16. Okay? So, ayan. Meron na tayong 6 and 8. Ngayon, dito naman tayo. Titingin naman tayo dito sa prime numbers. Okay? Tignan natin tong 3. 3. Pwede bang i-divide kay 6? Yes. How about si 8? Pwede bang i-divide kay 3? No. So, ano ang gagawin natin? Hindi siya multiple yung 3 kay 8. Kay 6 lang. So, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si 3. So, balik tayo sa 2. Let us use again 2. Okay? Tignan natin. Yung 6 ba? Pwedeng i-divide kay 2? Yes. Yung 8? Pwedeng i-divide kay 2? Yes. So, again, let us use the first prime numbers, which is 2. Ayan. So, ngayon, gagamit ulit tayo ng 2. Okay? So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay? So, may guhit po yan dyan dapat, ha? Okay, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, ayan. So, as you can see, meron na tayong 3 and 4. So, tignan natin kung pwede pa siyang i-divide. Okay? So, 3 divided by 2, hindi na pwede. Yung 4 divided by 2, pwede pa. Okay? So, hindi pwede natin ang 2. Next, sa 3, pwede siya sa 3, pero hindi rin siya sa 4. Okay? So, since na hindi na pwede sa 2, hindi rin pwede sa 3, at lalong-lalo na hindi pwede sa 5, sa 7, at 11, so, dyan na tayo magtatapos. Okay? So, tapos na ang pag-divide natin. So, ano na yung next na gagawin? Okay. So, etong number na nasa left side, etong number na nasa left side, or ginamit natin as a divisor, multiply po natin yan to get the GCF of 12 and 16. So, eto na sila. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Okay? So, ayan. So, the GCF of 12 and 16 is 4. So, very simple. So, dito sa continuous division, you're going to divide first using the five first prime factors. And then, pag natapos na at hindi na pwedeng i-divide, yung ginamit natin as a divisor, yun yung multiply ninyo at yung sagot niyan, yun na yung magiging GCF. Naintindihan po? Ayan na po ang magiging GCF. So, since meron tayo ditong 2 at 2, eto na sila. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, the GCF again of 12 and 16 is 4. So, pare-parehas lamang ang sagot natin. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo, sa, sa solution C, balikan natin. Okay? Okay. So, sa listing, ito yung ginamit natin. The greatest common uh, factor is 4. Okay? Then, sa prime factorization, the greatest common factor is 4. Then, also, sa continuous division, the greatest common factor is 4. So, that is the three methods in finding the greatest common factor. Very simple. Okay? So, i-follow nyo lang yung pasunod-sunod at ang step kung paano 
kunin ang GCF using the three methods. Okay? The listing, the prime factorization, and continuous division.